Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we are doing another What If video. But before we begin guys, I just want to say a massive thank you as we hit 5,100 subscribers today. So, wow, it, it literally flew up within hours when I um, checked it. One minute it was like 5,070, the next minute it was like 5,100. Like, I don't know what happened today, but that was pretty amazing. So just a massive thank you to everyone who um, helped on the way to 5,100. Because that's um, pretty amazing. We've lit It's literally only been a week since we hit 5,000. I've not even done the 5,000 special yet. And we're already at 5,100. So yeah, just a massive thank you, guys. It's much, much, much appreciated. You guys are awesome. But yeah, that is crazy. And yeah, I'm going to have a Halloween episode for tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, I should have the 5,000 subscribers special out by the weekend so stay tuned for that as well but yeah anyways into today's video we like i said um we're doing another what if video and you guys have seen by the title as well we're going to replace every single planet with the sun and then put jupiter where the sun is so should be pretty interesting what happens here because there's quite a lot of planets we need to replace um with the sun so it should be pretty interesting to see what happens to all of like the little objects like palace series and obviously all of the dwarf planets out here like Pluto and Eris. Like, it should be uh, pretty interesting to see what happens to all of those guys. So, yeah, to begin with, we also need to put a Jupiter where the sun is. As that's what we're doing. So we're going to put Jupiter where the sun is. And then all of the other planets will be suns now. So, here we go. So we've got Jupiter in the middle there. So then Mercury, we need to put a sun right here. This is this is not going to go well, is it? So Actually, we can just put the sun right on top of all them. Because, honestly, yeah, we need to put them as still, I think. So... Let's go to Venus. Because as soon as we kick play, it will destroy the planet anyway. So that's fine. So go put a sun on Venus. There we go. We don't need to um, do that. All right. Awesome. So then we just throw one on Earth. Oh, God. This is going to be crazy. We've already got loads and loads of suns. Then a one on Mars. I have to zoom in on Mars, though. Okay. So here we are. So let's put a sun on Mars. All right. There we go. All right, now we've got Jupiter, so yeah, that object's now in the centre of the solar system. I wonder if it will survive or not. Okay, so there we go. All right, and then we've got Saturn. Okay, so there we go. Voila. All right, next up we've got Uranus, so let's go over here and place that new sun on here. Oh, this is going to be crazy when we click play. Okay, so there we go, Uranus. And then next up we've got Neptune. And then lastly after that we've got Planet Nine. So... There we go, there it is on Neptune, and then Planet 9. So this one, this sun will probably survive the longest, since it's already very, very far away. So there we go, so let's place that there. Alright, there we are. So let's just go ahead and save the simulation. Let's just call it, um, there we go, save. We'll just call it uh, Lots of Sun. <laughs> there we go. There we are, so we swapped all of the planets out for suns. And now there is a, a Jupiter where the sun originally was. So if we uh, just go ahead and look around. Go on realistic mode as well. Yeah, that's quite a lot of suns in this um, inner solar system. So yeah, there's one over there as well. Like These are where all the planets used to be. So maybe that was the Mercury there. Look at this poor Jupiter, man. There's some really distant ones as well. Where is the Planet 9 one? <laughs> See if we can spot that. Look at this. This is quite cool, though, all these suns. So, there we go. So, Planet 9 is the one all the way over there. Can we even see it? You can just about see it there. So, yeah, there is that. But look at this poor Jupiter. All right. So, we'll start off. We'll do a few scenarios with this. Um, well, first of all, we'll just click play and see what happens. Then we will do auto orbit. See what happens there. I reckon that will cause a lot of binary orbits. And then we can, like, expand and make the system smaller if it works. So, here we go on labels. And let's click play. So, here we go. Oh, my God. What? just happened oh my well okay that just caused a lot of that it just instantly popped as soon as we click play there jeez okay so is there some nova remnants in here oh my god it's like all the objects are completely dead already said no jupiter the jupiter is still alive though um and yeah that is that so that's scenario one even more novas and that's pretty much the end of that so we'll go into a whole new one now because that, that didn't even last 10 10 seconds all right lots of sun so we'll go into this again, but we'll we'll do the same scenario, but we will slow it down because we need to see what happened there because that was way too quick for me to keep an eye on what happened there. So we'll put it down to a few hours this time. Okay, or you can already see since we've reloaded the simulation, all the orbits have now messed up. All right, so yeah, there's Jupiter. So this would have been Mercury. So let's click play. And here we go. Oh my God, look at the Jupiter go. It just gets launched out. 
Jeez. Well, I said a 4,000 kilometers a second. But look at all these suns. They're all pulling each other towards each other, as we can see. So this is like the Mercury one is going to crash with the Venus one, it looks like. So that's going to create one Nova any second now. So there we go. They're gone. Oh, dear. So that's basically what happened. The inner planets that got replaced by the sun flew into each other and kaboom. That's the end of that. So there we go. Right. We'll try that again. I don't know why the Jupiter was... Um, What's it? The Jupiter was uh, moving so quick. Like, what happened with that? That's pretty weird. Has it got any velocity right now? Why has it got 4,000? If we go to zero, there we go. So if we just click play, I'm guessing it's just going to get pulled in, surely. Or it will get hurt by the Nova a lot, but maybe it will survive. So if we just keep speeding it up, pretty much the same scenario again. A lot of suns collide. Probably going to get another two suns in a minute. They are very, very close to each other. Looks like they're in a binary orbit there, though. So they're doing all right. And yeah, this is running as fast as we can. Get rid of those, though, just so we can see um, what we're doing there. That dude has um, lost a bit of mass. It's still going, though. And it looks like, yeah, it's just going to be cause those are crazy binary orbits there. So let's go on to the next scenario now, because that, that scenario one, that just causes those of Novas. So what if we go to, um, yeah, tools, more, and then auto orbit? So what if we do that? Maybe that will uh, help um, keep this a little more stable. So if we, um, yeah, go play. Let's see what happens here. Oh, and boom. Straight again. So, that's yeah, just going to kill all of the dwarf planets out there. But, yeah, straight away. Another Nova. Straight away. Well, it looks like these two are going to collide. Oh, my God. They were unbelievably close there. Wow. Okay, so let's get rid of that Nova again. But, yeah, they were so close. That was crazy. So, let's uh, keep going here. It's really annoying. Whenever there's a Nova, it goes off. It still slows the simulation down, even though you delete all of the um, Nova remnants. It's really weird. Even though we delete all that Nova it was created, it still causes problems. You can see Sedna over there smoking up as well. Look at that. So, what are these guys going to do? Anything? Or are they just going to... Okay, they're just going to do that from now on. So, yeah, it looks like the same scenario again. They just... Two, the two closest suns collide, but then the other two... Oh, oh, okay. So, they collided as well. So, it looks like, yeah, all of the all of the suns that replace the inner planets, so all of the suns that replace Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars... They seem to collide, but I'm guessing all the ones further out, maybe they'll uh, survive more. Oh, that sun just got ejected. You saw that there. That just got complete. And that one over there as well. So that's two suns that just got completely ejected. Any suns still in the middle? Okay, so there's at least... Yeah, there's three suns left. So I'm guessing this was Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, maybe. But now they are all traveling in their own direction. So it looks like they all just launched off each other. And now every single object is going out in a different direction. So that's the end of that as well. So get a few Novas, and then they just blast off into oblivion, into the middle of nowhere. So, yeah, that, that definitely ends our solar system. You can see the goblins running away out there. That's nothing left of the goblin now. Look at that. So, yeah, there is that. So, to answer the um, question, what would if you or what would happen if you replaced all of the planets with the sun and then put Jupiter where the sun was? Total chaos. So we saw from the first scenario, they just completely collided. But when we did auto orbit, they did a few of them orbited for a bit. But then, because there was just too many suns interrupting each other, they collided. And then we got that massive bit at the end where they all boosted off each other into different directions due to their gravities. Uh, having a bit of a disagreement, obviously, then just yeah, launching off into uh, the darkness of space. So, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed today's video, guys. It's pretty uh, interesting, crazy theory there. Look at, look at these orbits go. What, what is happening there? But, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed um, this video. It wasn't the longest, but I did say I would do uh, daily videos um, this week as well. Um, so, yeah, this is my video for today. Because, yeah, last week I didn't upload much. I thought I'd do um, a video daily every day today, so I'm a little tired. So, sorry if I uh, sound tired or anything but it was quite a long day today so um yeah hopefully um hopefully uh you guys don't hate me for that but yeah there is that but yeah just a massive thank you again for 5100 subscribers because that is absolutely insane how quick we got to that because we only got 5000 last week like i said again that absolutely accelerated today into to 5100 so quickly like i am i'm very very thankful guys it is absolutely crazy to be where i am right now so just a huge thanks again and also um let's see if we can go for 40 likes on this video um and yeah let's um keep going to uh 6, subscribers i guess like if, if things keep going the way they're going we could maybe get seven thousand before the end of the year that'd be absolutely crazy but yeah just um, let's um try and get that goal that'd be crazy but yeah that is everything guys so oh look there's a triangle it's like a perfect triangle shape being made there. you can see it there it's like a triangle there but yeah, um, yeah, that is everything. So um, yeah, hopefully you guys all have a great day or night wherever you are in the world. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.